After my quick shopping, I returned to the park to find the perfect spot for my snacks. Surprisingly, the park wasn't busy, even the Paris Olympics approaching. The surroundings felt dull with not much life around. This proves that the Paris is the city of love less. I don't feel any romantic atmosphere here. Just as I started to eat my pizza, a scammer promptly tried to steal my food. Despite my attempts to push it away, it kept coming back. Catch flights, not feelings. My adventure at the Eiffel Tower continues. After feeling a bit disappointed by the true state of Paris, and capturing a video of the tower, I decided to take a break. Since I had a luxurious breakfast in the morning, I just wanted a light snack before my steak dinner later. Instead of getting to a coffee shop, I went to a nearby supermarket. I picked up some grapes first, curious about their quality. During my tour in Barcelona, I found some big and sweet grapes. The ones here are a bit smaller and I'm not sure about their taste yet. As I wandered through the small supermarket, I couldn't find the weighing area. The grapes were weren't priced yet. Eventually, I spotted the weighing scale and realized I had to weigh them myself. At this point, I struggled to find the right product category for the grapes because there were several sections under the fruit category. I had no choice but to return to the fruit section to check the details again. I took photo of the product information so I could refer to it later when weighing. Actually in Doha, there are a sign stop to weigh your fresh produce items. I love the surf service approach in Europe, particularly in Spain and France. It feels like a little adventure to weigh your own items. I don't find it hard to do at all. It's user-friendly and feels like using my favorite app. Just tap here, tap there. After a while, I finally got my price tag for the grapes. Next, I needed some water as the weather was getting hotter now that it was midday. Finding the water section turned into another little adventure. I eventually realized it was right near the fruit section where I had just been. I got a big bottle of water to save some money and to use it for rinsing the grapes as well as for drinking. On my way to the checkout, I craved some sodium, so I headed to the chip section. Then I literally pick up some Pringles off the floor after I drop one. Unexpectedly, my footsteps lead me to a warm section of the grocery store where I found fresh baked pizza. It surprised me that they had kept it hot. I hope it wasn't just because of the sun's rays. Realizing that the pizza would give me enough sodium, I decided to return my chips. Every time I pay, I always get a thrill from using Apple Pay here in Europe since my local card is connected to it. No need for a physical card. A single tap makes paying so easy.
It's good to know there's a supermarket near the Eiffel Tower, conveniently located at the entrance of Ikumiliti Metro. After my quick shopping, I returned to the park to find the perfect spot for my snacks. Surprisingly, the park wasn't busy, even the Paris Olympics approaching. The surroundings felt dull with not much life around. This proves that the Paris is the city of love less. I don't feel any romantic atmosphere here. Fortunately, I found a shaded area. Just as I started to eat my pizza, a scammer promptly tried to steal my food. Despite my attempts to push it away, it kept coming back. This bird had the audacity to fly over me, trying to get a share of my pizza. In fairness to the curry for pizza, it has so much flavor. I love the crunchiness of its crust and the cheesiness of it. For just 2 euros and 50 cents, it's perfect for budget travelers like me, offering a good serving of pizza. Even this bird can't resist the aroma flying back for more. I decided to throw a piece to it. That one piece of pizza attracted other dubs to flock near me. I felt a bit off guard and ended up sharing some bites of my pizza. However, this particular bird really liked the pizza. Every time I throw a piece for the dubs, it quickly snatched the food and flew up persistently. For every bite I took, I made sure to give the birds their share. If I had known earlier that these birds would be so eager for food, I would have bought some feeds for them. This bird is getting more persistent with its task. It keeps stealing again and again. Its swift movements are impressive, and I think even the dubs are shocked by its speed. After finishing my pizza, I wash my grapes. I'm disappointed with their taste. They're very bland, and the size is uneven. These grapes are from Africa, but I remember the ones I ate in Barcelona also from Africa were large and sweet. It's another addition to my list of disappointments about Paris. Next, I'll be having dinner at the oldest steakhouse in Paris to see if the social media hype is justified or not. Let's fly.